Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unpacking my Midtown Comics haul. You guys know this is sort of a semi-regular series on the channel. I have an ongoing pull list through Midtown Comics and I just love the comic shop in general so I'm constantly ordering from them. Um, if you guys haven't heard of Midtown Comics, they are a new York City based comic shop. I will leave a link down below to their website. Every couple of weeks I get sent a package with all of the comics that are on my pool list, the new releases or anything else that I've added in my cart. Um, I have another bigger haul coming in the next couple of weeks so make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell if you guys want to get that notification. Alright so I will leave a link in the cards above to some of my prior uh, hauls from Midtown Comics and without further ado let's get into this. Alright and the first issue that we have is issue number five of the DC Dark Knights metal series. You guys know I love this series. I talk about it all the time on the channel. This is uh, the foil stamped edition. I've been collecting these covers. They have several variants. Um, this is one of the more common ones, but I just love the way that they look. And this is issue number five. There are six total, so we've got one more to go, guys. And I am so excited. As you can see, we have the Batman who laughs on the cover. This says La Morte, and we have all the members of the Justice League here dead on his card. So excited. Oh my god, I am loving this series. It is incredible. If you guys haven't read it yet, I highly recommend it. Um, if you guys are interested in starting, there are two prequels. So we have The Forge and The Casting. I think you definitely need to read those. And then there are going to be six issues total that have been released over the last couple of months. I think there's one more to go. And uh, issue number five came out fairly recently. So definitely we're, we're nearing the end and I'm going to be so sad when it's over. But I'm so excited to see how we end. And um, there are also several one shots and tie ins. I don't think that you have to read any or all. You can kind of pick and choose which ones you you want to read. I definitely recommend if you're going to go with anything, do the one shots of the DC Dark Knights, the Dark Knights themselves. I think those are really great. Um, they add a little bit to the story, but you're not going to really be missing out on a ton if you don't read them. And then if you guys are reading current issues like uh, the Suicide Squad or Justice League, they have several tie-ins. I think there's also a Teen Titans one as well. So if you guys are already reading those series, those might be really fun to read as well. I thought I was just gonna read the one shots of the Dark Knights and I'm kind of reading everything and I can't get enough. So highly recommend this series, super excited for issue number five. Oh my God, next up we have another one of the tie-ins. This is a one shot um, Hawkman found issue number one. Again, we have the foiled edition here and huge Hawkman fan, I had, I had to, I had to have it. So excited. This is one of the tie-ins. Not a one-shot, but a tie-in. Um, this is going to be a new series as well, I believe. So again, Hawkman fans, if you guys like Hawkman, then I definitely recommend uh, checking this one out as well. Um, and I think I have read this already. I just didn't have the foiled edition and I'm trying to collect all of them. So I have an alternate edition that is non-foiled. I've already read it. It was really, really good. It is quintessential Hawkman to the core. I thought it was really well done and I know I'm biased because I'm a Hawkman fan, but in general, if you guys know the character or familiar with him, it is a great comic. I'm so excited. So um, definitely check this one out. Next up, we have another uh, tie-in to the DC Dark Knights Metal series. I told you guys, I'm totally obsessed. This is uh, Batman v Signal. So we have here, from the pages of metal issue number one in the DC universe. So again, we have the uh, the rebirth style Batman here on the front. This is not a foil cover. I couldn't find the foil edition of this one. So I'm on the hunt for that, but um, I have not read this one yet. So I'm excited. Again, I only plan to read a couple of the one shots and then I just got sucked in. It's so good. So I'm kind of acquiring all of the tie-ins as well. And this is one of the ones that I'm looking forward to reading. All right, next up we have something new, and I've actually read this one. I didn't realize that I had already put it in my haul, so I have a duplicate, but I'm so excited to talk about it, you guys. This is from the New Age of Heroes from DC. This is the Silencer issue number one, and I wanna talk to you guys about the New Age of Heroes and what DC is doing with that. The New Age of Heroes is, as the name entails, a new age of DC heroes, and this is new to 2018, and a lot of these stories, these 
characters, I think there's probably at least seven or eight different sets of heroes, individual or hero groups, that are being created this year, and they're going to be released bit by bit throughout the year. I think we've got three so far. Damage, the Silencer, and I think Sideways is another one. And these are actually born from events that happen in the DC Dark Knights Metal series. Some of them are going to have more direct ties to that series. Other ones are just sort of going to maybe reference that series. But events that happened in that dark multiverse kind of create a new series of heroes. But it is a new age of heroes. They're totally new. And I think that that is a wonderful thing. Um, I love the fact, as much as I love and I'm a hardcore DC fan and I love the old school staples Batman, Superman, the Justice League, Wonder Woman. It is really nice to see DC branching out and doing something new. I think when you have some of these older established character histories, it sort of limits the creativity a bit. You're sort of confined within those character worlds and histories, um, and you can only do so much with them. I think what's so great about this, this new age of heroes, is that there is unlimited possibility and creativity here. They are giving their artists and writers total creative freedom to kind of take something and go with it and create something new. And that is really inspiring. And the other thing I do want to commend DC on is a lot of these uh, New Age of Heroes, a lot of the heroes are very multicultural and diverse. And I am a big proponent of we need diverse books, we need diverse stories, and that, especially in the comic book world, um, we need we need it. And I think that there is a market for it, you know, with the release of Black Panther and the success, you know, with opening weekend, breaking records, it is so refreshing to see. And I really, I really hope that DC goes there with it and they create these inspiring characters. I do want to say I have read this issue, and it is incredible. Um, the silencer, she is a black mother. She's got a family. She was a former associate working with and or for Talia Ogul. So we're also seeing some uh, reemergence of some older characters, some established characters in some of these stories, which is amazing. And I love Talia Ogul, so I was so excited for that. Um, but she's basically an assassin and she's a total badass and she's nailing motherhood and doing her family thing. And then eventually events kind of draw her back into her job and she's incredible and I was so inspired by this story. It is so, so good. I need to read Damage. I haven't read that yet and I'm going to read Sideways. They are releasing multiple stories sort of throughout the year. Each month they're going to release a couple of new ones and uh, I'm hoping to pick up at least the first issue of all of them and then kind of pick and choose and read through them and see which ones definitely kind of stick with me. And uh, Silencer I think is going to be one of the ones that I kind of stick with and read from week to week or month to month. Um, this is so good. It's so good. I cannot recommend this enough and I can't commend DC enough for the creativity, for creating something new and then adding some different diversity in there and I hope that they they take it further and um, I can't recommend it enough so if you guys see any of these comics that say the new age of heroes they're going to be releasing throughout the year I definitely recommend checking them out and uh and getting some new stories in your repertoire I'm so excited so that is the silencer issue one this was phenomenal and then the final issue that I have in my haul is Harley Quinn issue number one, Be Careful What You Wish For. This is a special edition of issue number one. I am a huge fan of Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti, especially the Harley Quinn series. So this is a special edition um, issue. Again, issue number one, uh, priced at $4.99. I am so excited to read it. I have been following their series from Rebirth and the new 52 on, and I love her version of Harley Quinn and her world with Harley Quinn. So um, I cannot wait to read this. And yeah, I had to have it and add it to my haul. So there you go. We got five comics today. We have the uh, DC Dark Knights Metal issue number five. We have the special tie in for Hawkman Found issue number one. We have Batman and The Signal, which is another tie-in to the DC Dark Knight series. We have The Silencer issue number one of the New Age of Heroes, 
and then the special edition issue number one of Harley Quinn Be Careful What You Wish For. So five comics in total, kind of a smaller haul. Like I said, I have a bigger one. Um, my order should come in probably this week or next week. So in the next couple of weeks, uh, you guys should be seeing a video with that haul and there's a ton of good stuff in there. So um, I'm excited to talk about it and, uh, and share these hauls. If you guys like these types of hauls, please make sure you click the thumbs up button. Let me know what you think. And um, like I said, if you guys are ever able to get to New York City, check out Midtown Comics. They're an amazing comic shop. They're also having a ton of sales going on. They have um, special sales of the day. And each week, they show you which new releases are coming out by publisher. So you can create a pool list and have them mailed to you every so often. So I think they're a really great comic retailer. And um, I recommend checking them out. Links and pricing and all that stuff are going to be in the description box below. But uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Just a quick short and sweet video. Um, let me know if you guys have gotten or read any of these series and what's up and coming. What are you guys excited for? Let me know in the comments down below. And like I said, make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys next time. Bye!